the team of Greg Taylor and Barton Moore won both heats of the opening round of the new Australian GT Trophy Series. The team overcame a drive-through penalty in race two to take the win, despite falling back to ninth place with only 20 minutes remaining. It was an Audi 1-2 as Rob Smith took second, ahead of the Lamborghini of Gian Dinadassa, who overcame a spin to take third for the weekend. Three races and three winners in the Touring Car Masters. Jim Richards in his Javelin took out Saturday's first race, but it was John Bow in the SLR 5000 Tirana that won on Sunday, setting a new lap record on the way. The final race was a reverse grid affair, and Andrew Fisher in his Jesus-sponsored Falcon proved the power of prayer works, leading almost all the way to take out his first ever TCM victory. Jack Perkins dominated the sports sedan races, winning all three in John Goulet's Audi A4. The Holden Racing Team endurance driver fended off nine-time national champion Tony Ricciardello in his Alpha Chev, and David Wall making a return to the class in his father's Trans Am Corvette. It was the first appearance of the cars on their new Hankook control rubber, and it must have gone well, with Perkins setting a new lap record of 1 minute 7.87 seconds. Taz Douglas made a strong start in the V8 Touring Car Series, taking out the first win of the season. Douglas won all three races at Sandown, leading home impressive newcomers Bryce Fullwood and Tyler Greenbury. It was a baptism of fire for V8 debutante Emily Duggan. Duggan, who had previously only raced Hyundai XLs, failed to finish races 1 and 2, but she did better in the final to finish in 11th place, and with a car that was mostly without damage. Two-time Australian Formula 3 champion Tim Macro made a strong return to the category, taking the outright win for the opening round of the series. Macro took out the final race win of the weekend ahead of Chris Anthony, Trent Shervington was third. But with only seven cars fronting the start of the categories clearly on borrowed time. Or at least it should be. Numbers were much more impressive in Formula Ford where 19 cars fronted and Leanne Tander once again showed her class with victory in the opening round of the series. Tander took out the weekend with two strong wins in her Sonic Miguel. Equally as impressive though were the performances by rookie Jaden Orjada and young Albury driver Jordan Boys. Ojeda won the second race of the weekend and was the only driver to dip into the 14s, perilously close to Chas Mostert's long-standing lap record.